Hey folks, Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions here. We are on our home turf right now. We've got catfish here. We are at Fairfield Lakes, which is literally just a, a walk in the park down from where we live. Catfish is actually back with me right now, at least for the next few months. And today is the first day that it truly feels like spring, doesn't it, catfish? Yep. And it's like in the 60s, it's overcast, but dry at the moment. So we thought we should get out walk around our ponds and lakes down here and look for some signs for spring, right? Yep. All right. Behind the Fairfield Lakes here is the Wildcat Creek. Animal plant. What kind of animal? I can't tell. That just looks like gray scratch marks. That that might be a dog or something. Oh, okay. Or maybe coyotes, because we do have coyotes out here. Yeah. And fox. Got us some raccoon prints here. You can see where he about lost his traction too and slid. <laughs> yep. Slippery slide. I see beaver evidence. Oh yeah, beavers want to dam this up, don't they? There has been a lot of beaver activity out here. Look at all these small trees. They have been taken down. I have never seen this many chopped up little trees. We may find a beaver den back here somewhere. Yeah, boy. We're on the Wildcat Beach here. <laughs> There's times we can come out here and spend hours digging around in the rocks, finding unique rocks and fossils and shells. Right, buddy? So most of what we got here is, is glacial till, gravel left over from the Ice Age. But of course mixed in, obviously, we can find a lot of shells and some mussels, as well as fossils. That there looks like part of an uh, ancient coral piece right there. Check this one out, Dad. Well, that's a pretty good sized muscle, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like the upper half is buried, too. It is. It is. Well, we've seen them bigger than that live here in the Wildcat Creek. And uh, point of fact, in Indiana, all freshwater mussels are protected. So not only can you not harvest them out of the streams, but you can't even collect the shells and take them home. And it's actually illegal to collect the shells. Oh. Yeah, it's part of their ecosystem. All right, so we've seen all those little trees and branches back there that were gnawed down from beavers, which I've lived out here for almost 16 years now, and I've never, ever actually seen a beaver. And I've certainly never seen the trees all gnawed down by beavers. So that's obviously something new here which means right up there is a new beaver den on Wildcat Creek. Amazing how much work a beaver will put in to just creating a big old dam and knowing inside of that big old jumbled mess there are tunnels for them to raise their family in. Does a tiny spider count as a sign of spring? All right, so we decided to leave the beaver dam alone and get back up here on the trail around the lake and uh, 
Looks like the beavers have been busy even up here around the lake. Didn't quite finish that one yet, did he? Nope. So we came out here looking for signs of spring. And now we're looking for signs of beavers. <laughs> My absolute favorite tree is the thorny honey locust. Just something about them big old thorns. Just gives us this badass look. Like, leave me alone. If I could, I would completely surround my property with these thorn trees, daring people to come in. Hey dad, more signs of fever. Sure is. There have been some very busy beavers around here. Well, we're on the other side of the lake now, but beavers have been busy over t over here too, huh, buddy? Yep. Well, we didn't find the signs of spring that we thought we would find out here today. Um, none of the plant life or flowers or anything coming up just yet. But what did we find, Catfish? We saw lots of blackbirds here and there. Oh, we actually ones. saw evidence that beavers had moved here. Yeah. We did start hearing spring peepers too, but a call passed by. <laughs> yeah, this little pond right behind Catfish, we've always called it the frog pond. And uh, spring peepers were pretty loud there until we started up here and then a car went through the area and that was that for the spring peepers. But you have all the lots of red winged blackbirds and beaver activity. But the, when you hear spring peepers, you know it's spring, right, buddy? Yep. All right. All right. Well, till next time. Peace, Peace out. out.